We the real Hebrew Israelites coming to you week in and week out. Prophesying is true. In the return of the Heavenly Father and Son, which is prophecy, which is in the scriptures. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, honor to Yahweh, Baha Sham Yahweh Shai, which is the correct name of the Heavenly Father and the Son, who the real ignorant called Jesus, Jehovah, and a bunch of improper translations, which is not true. That don't line up with facts nor scriptures. Excuse me. And uh, double honor to the elders and apostles of the great millstone that the most high set up according to scriptures, man. And shalom to all the brothers pushing his word down, true sincerity and cheery, not just here in America, but all across the world, which is prophecy. I basically want to go into the scripture, uh, this topic, the greatest, strongest military. And, you know, I want to pull scriptures out on it, you know, going into this, you know, because, you know, because co comparing um, physical carnal things such as this. A strong military and using a so-called white man as an example because he has the straightest, he have the grunt, the salaki, excuse me, he have the strongest and the greatest military because his blessing was the sword. You know, that was his blessing, the sword and to be ruling now. And just like all other kingdoms had their chance to rule. The Most High allowed this. The Most High gave them a the chance to rule. Job 9 and 24 tells you the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covered the face of the judges. If not, where and who is he? So the Most High allows this. A, a, a bunch, according to a bunch of more scriptures, the Most High has created uh, light and he created darkness. Shall not a trumpet be blown in the city uh, and the people be not afraid? You know? The Lord controls everything, man. He killeth, he maketh alive. He set up one, he bring it down another. So you know that the most high ruled in the kingdom of man, according to Daniel, the fourth chapter, man. But yeah, I want to go into this real quick. Uh, so I typed in on Google, the greatest, strongest military. You know, they tell you the so-called white man, which is uh, America. Then they say Russia and China and all these people that's jockeying for a position. Because ultimately, it's all going into the World War Three, which is prophecy in the scriptures, which is prophesied by the holy men, by the prophets back then and today, because the prophets are back today through a thing called reincarnation that is in the scriptures. Prophesying the same thing, man. Ain't nothing new under the sun. The Lord finna set the Israelites up. He finna do greater than what he did to us in the beginning. Starting with the elect, man. And two-thirds of our people that's not with it, that trust in the so-called white man, is military might, that trust in the modern-day Egypt, the modern-day Pharaoh, because they got uh, military strength, and they got wickedness. That's not wisdom, but it's wicked. And you love it, and you're going to be destroyed, man. By them ICBM nuclear missile fires was going to come from this World War Three that's uh, brewing up. Because the scripture tell you, he's going to bring them down to the Valley of Jehoshaphat to plead with them. And by fire, the Most High is going to plead with our flesh, man. And uh, the, the plague, well, with the uh, Most High, he's going to smite the nations in the two-thirds. You read that in Zechariah, man. For the heathens that fought against us, man, that sold us and did horrible things to us. And to you two-thirds who love it, man, and sold out. The Lord is going to deal with you very harshly, man. And I just had to state that to set the tone, man. Knowing that, we are part of the greatest military. If we continue to endure, man. Because right now, our spiritual warfare is we just we just talking. We going out on the highways and byways. But soon, if we are men, it's going to be manifest. We the sons of God. We're going to get the spiritual powers. We're going to be the battle axe, as the Lord speak of. You know? The scriptures say we are gods. But we're going to die like uh, men. Roughly paraphrasing, man. Because we went off. We transgressed. We was disobedient to the Lord. But the Lord is going to fix all that, man. The Lord is coming to fix everything. This is Zechariah 8 and 1. Again, the word of the Lord of hosts came to me saying. And when you look up the word host, it means army. Tazabah, the Hebrew word, it means army. That which goes forth for army and warfare. So our power, our God, he's the Lord of that, man. So look at the so-called white man military that the Most High set up and gave them the power and the knowledge to do so. You know, get the so-called white man the, the knowledge to create the um, nuclear bomb, the atom bomb. Scriptures tell you he created the um, smith that blew up the coals in the fire and the waste to destroy. 
you know they are they are the uh the rod in the most high's hand you know but the most high's military is a thousand billion times better than this military here in this uh corrupt kingdom man which is soon gonna be brought to nothing because it's prophecy and you have to believe that the Lord will fight for you. You have to believe as if he fought for us as then and as he will do it again. As he fought against us for being disobedient. You have to know and believe that Yahweh Shemashah exists. That is his name. And his son, who the you call Jesus, will save and deliver us. You have to believe these things. If not, you're going to be you destroyed. Verse 2. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. I was jealous for Zion, you Negro, Latino, Native American, so-called, with great jealousy. And I was jealous for her with great fury. And in return, that's what the Lord did to us, man. He let so-called white men do what they do in one of the heathen nations, man. But the Lord's going to judge them, man. All these people have military bases and lands to back them up. But you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans don't. Why is that? That's because we went off, man, and the Lord scattered us and he took us out of our land, which is over there in the Middle East, man, which is them Israelis, is uh, now has. And they're backed up by America. And you know the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, and they blessed him with the sword. They the devils, man. They stole a lot of identity and heritage, and they run from this. Why? Because they're a fugitive and a vagabond, as the scriptures say. The scriptures don't lie, man. These pastors, these church folks, these men lying, man. You, you you fake philosophies and teachers and masters. You Egypt Egyptology uh, devils, man. You you all lying, man. Full of lies. But the scriptures is way ahead of its time. The scriptures can't be compared to nothing. The scriptures validates everything, and that's the reason of this lesson. Let you know the greatest army and where does it come from. You know, and although it's a greater army on this side that people only see and feel. Because they carnal, the spirit not dealing with them. The Lord ordained that. The Lord allows that. And if you read it and you understand. The Psalms 46, 11. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. You know, Jacob's name was surnamed to Israel. And his, uh, his generations and his uh, 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 generations after him, you know. The scriptures say that they cannot be numbered, man. Of, of the grains of the sand of the sea and the numbers of the stars, man. That's how we is. We, we can't be numbered. You know, you read verse 46. I mean, chapter 46. It just goes all in, man. Because the Lord is the ultimate, most greatest, fearful power there is. There's no one besides him. All you other idols, you all you other gods, you other nations are nothing but idols, man. That's for them heathens. Our people are not to be caught up into that worship, and that's why you have what you have today. Slavery, homosexuality, and all manner of wickedness, man, and destruction pending. Why? Because we went off, and the Lord is executing his will, his judgment, his plan, which is greater than our thoughts. But what we do know is we are not to worship them things because there is nothing, man. Our power is the greatest. That's what we should trust and fear, man. Why? Exodus 15 and 3. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. So Yahweh is his name, which is his, his reputation, which is what he go by, which is what he always went by. As you read the scriptures, man, and you need the spirit with you. You know? But, hey, that's the Lord is, man. And he, as he fought for us, he will fight for us again. As he delivered us in Exodus, he will deliver us again, man. From the modern-day Pharaoh here in modern-day Egypt, as the scriptures say, we're going to come into Egypt again by ships in Deuteronomy 2868, which is how we identify who the Israelites is, according to curses. And, you know, Pharaoh's chariots and his hosts and his army have he cast into the sea. His chosen captains also are drowned in the Red Sea. And there's artifacts based upon this, man. And that's how we know those artifacts are true because we read we read the scriptures. See, nothing outside these scriptures validate the scriptures. We validate everything outside the scriptures with the scriptures in the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Shai because these scriptures are frontless to our eyes, man. It's our wisdom, our knowledge. And Lord willing to keep us stable in that time so we can be saved out of it, as the scriptures say.
you know. But we we don't fear Pharaoh's army, man. We don't fear the so-called white man military, man. And we know that we could damn him and his kingdom, you know. We the army of Yahweh Shemel Shah. We doing the Lord's work. It's spiritual warfare, man. It's not carnal. Psalms nine and nine. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed. And who's the oppressed? You Negroes, Latino, Native American, mainly the elect of Israel, man. Because the other rest is just going to get destroyed. A refuge in times of trouble. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. For thou, Lord, has not forsaken them that seek thee. And that name is key. That name is important. And that's what the man push. And that's what the prophets always push. And that's what they will be pushing today, man. Because it ain't Jesus. It ain't Jehovah. It ain't Yeshua. It ain't. Yahweh, ain't no O's, no U's, no E's in Hebrews, man. No J's, no V's in Hebrews, man. Those names are not facts, none whatsoever. And to know the name and to praise that name and to do, uh, uh, show your works and faith towards that name, that's how you get saved, man. That's how you be a part of the, uh, the glory and the covenant, you know, uh, and it's only for you Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. And we're going to be set up on top when the Most High bring the so-called white man and his military down. Because why? Our power is the greatest. Our power is the strongest. Our power, we have the greatest military, man. So-called black man. So just, to, just as we dominated sports, how much more if we had our own military, our own land? And we do. And the stars in the heavens, man, the spiritual world, which people can't see nor understand because it's, it, the spirit now deal with them. And there's only a few men here on earth that understands and know the will of the father that's going to do, execute and go out in the highways and byways until the manifestation of the sons of God be known upon all his creation, man. Even the trees don't know and rejoice. Nahum 1 and 7, the Lord is good. A stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. So if you trust in the Lord, he got you in that day, man, no matter what. Just as you know, you trust in a so-called white man, you dial 911. You trust there ain't no third world countries going to come in here and destroy us. Because a third world country will come and fuck this place up. But because this most high set the so-called white man up to protect us from them, and just like you people don't fear and don't think about that, that's how we should feel and think about the Lord, that nothing's going to come upon us and touch us. We can call upon him at any given moment. He would be there to protect us from anything, small or great. You know, if you could do it on this side, how much more for the Heavenly Father that created and allowed and ordained everything you see today. And everything we do now, we strive to be a part of that army. Jeremiah 51 and 19. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the form of all things. And Israel is the rod of his inheritance, and the Lord of hosts is his name. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. Talking about you Negroes, Latin Native Americans, once you get those spiritual powers, once you get the download and understand of what the will of the Lord is, then he gives you spiritual powers that you can't even understand and fend them to declare his will fully. And that's part of the promises. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations, starting with the so-called white men and the Africans, which we are not, and you Arabs and you East Indians and you Japanese and you Chinese, you know, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms, and with thee will I break in peace the horse and his rider, and with thee will I break in the pieces the chariot and his rider. And the Lord's going to use his elect, man, because he's the Lord of hosts. He's the top dog, man. You know, his will will be done. Just Joshua 23 and 10. One man of you shall chase a thousand. For the Lord of your power, he, he, he it is that fighteth for you as he hath promised you. So whatever mighty miracles you see happen or that's going to happen, the Lord is fighting for us. The Lord is working through us, man. The Lord has worked through us. You read how we had mighty men amongst our nations that did things, man. As far as running and leaping over walls, killing men with single blows, killing animals. Not just 
brutally like the so-called white man do for sport. But, you know, either defending or just, just to show and state the might of that man. You know, these accounts are in the scriptures, man. We was once mighty. We were, scriptures say we are gods, man. This Psalms 82 and 6, I have said ye are gods and all of you are the children of the most high. But ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all nations. So we're going to rule over all these nations, man. We're going to be back at our God more. We the sons of God. And the manifestation of that is coming up. You Negroes, Latino, even Americans, man. What you do now counts. The faith, you know, the treasures you lay up now count for what's coming up. John 10 and 34. Yahweh Shai answered them, Is it not written in your law? I have said ye are gods. If he called them gods unto whom the word of God came, and the scriptures cannot be broken. That's plain, man. And I just want to pull it out, letting you know, man. Hey, we're going to be getting back to this real soon. The Lord has a straight, the strongest, greatest military might. The Lord's wisdom is the greatest above all. His will will be executed. And what you do now, how you conduct yourself, repent, listen to the man he set up, and striving and going out and how ways and bad ways and making videos. And Lord willing, you be a part of that army and get your spot, your spiritual powers to execute vengeance, written. Because that's what it's about, man. Lord willing, hope this last was edifying. I want to give all praises, glory, honor to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, which is the Lord of hosts, which is the Lord of the, of the heavens, the Father, the Heavenly Father, and the Son, name, man. Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that he set up according to scriptures. The prophets that are back today, pushing his word out, not just here in America, but all over, man. And those that believe and listen. Shalom.